Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Let's talk about New Jersey. Um, anytime the government forces a business to sell a product or forces you to purchase something, uh, it's never a good day. It's also called extortion, but that, that doesn't matter. So what happened this week that, you know, what am I talking about? Well, on Tuesday of this week, Governor Phil Murphy uh, decided that the smart gun law that has been law in New Jersey since 2002, they created their own loophole. Sounds silly, right? Well, Tuesday he passed a new law that mandated each and every firearms retailer in the state sell a smart gun. They have to be available for sale in the facility. Now, smart gun technology has been in, in process of being developed for quite some time. Same technology that I showed people on a video of mine a couple weeks ago with this smart lock. In theory, the smart gun will be able to use a fingerprint to identify the owner and would not be able to function until then. The problem is, and this is my lock for my studio right here, right? fingerprint. If I focus on where I'm putting my finger, it will work. However, that level of focus that's required to increase the accuracy of this scanner is not necessarily available when your life is on the line and fractions of a second count. So what they did was they mandated each and every single firearms retailer has to sell this gun and or a smart gun even though there's none really available, but also that law has paved the way to ban dumb guns. You know, the guns that all of us have. Their 2002 law, which they eliminated with this new law here that they just passed this week, it's stated in that law that no firearm could be sold in New Jersey unless it was a smart gun once that technology was readily available. The problem is, is in the 17 years since they passed that dumbass law, smart gun technology, it just, it's not, it's not readily available. It's not realistically dependable. And there are all kinds of ways to, uh, for it not to work, okay? EMP, dead battery, bloody fingers, dirty fingers, not having the time to say, excuse me, Mr. Bad Guy, with your dumb gun that functions every time you just do this. Let me focus on the exact location. Okay, now I can shoot you. <sighs> That's what they're doing, guys and gals, but people aren't paying attention. They tried it in 2002, and we laughed. And it wasn't just them. California did it as well. We laughed, saying, <laughs> these dumbasses, there's no such thing as smart gun technology, and it'll never happen. So now they're forcing places to sell these guns. And the, these guns are very expensive. So what they're trying to do that nobody's really paying attention to is they're going to outlaw those dumb guns that we can afford, and they're going to force people to buy these smart guns if you really want to have one, but they're going to cost, I don't know, a couple grand for a little piece of crap gun. Um, dangerous, dangerous area we are in right now. Very slippery slope. Um, shall not be infringed means something. Shall not be infringed means a lot. I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of the constant infringements by this left and even the right. There's a reason there's a saying behind every blade of grass, right? We... The, the people, the militia, uh, you know, the ones who are ready to take up the firearms in defense of their country at a moment's notice, even if it's the tyrannical government, we're the reason that they're trying to do all this stuff. They're trying to disarm us at all costs. We should be really uh, making a bigger stink than we are. I don't know about you, but I don't care what state I live in, I am not going to put my life or my kids' lives or my wife's lives on that. Because in the time that it took to, to unlock that lock, lives could be lost. And there's not a single politician big enough or bad enough to stop me from saving my family. If you really want to read this law, I will have a link in the description. Don't forget, when a government agency or anybody tries to force you to sell a product or force you to buy a product, it's called extortion. It is illegal. Especially when they're threatening some type of punishment if you don't do it. 
My friends, thank you so much for your support for this channel over the last three years. It is very humbling to see we are close to that goal that I never thought I would reach. We are that close to 100,000 and uh, I owe it all to you. I'm also very grateful uh, because of your, your interest in this channel. Uh, my friends over at Gun Owners of America have joined forces with me and they're gonna offer every one of my members a $5 discount on a year membership. Instead of 20 bucks, it's 15. Use this code here, it's in the description. It's gunowners.org slash guns gadgets. Uh, and what I would suggest you do is you take them up on their offer to save that five bucks, but donate that five bucks back. That make it 10 bucks, whatever, because they need the money. They're fighting for us while other conglomerates aren't. The Gun Owners of America, and there are others, Firearms Policy Coalition, there are other groups out there fighting the fight, and I can't name them all, but you know who they are. You know who's fighting the fights in your state. If they're local, support them. If they're national, we should support them as well. And Gun Owners of America, they're doing a solid. They're trying to give you guys a break because you watch this channel, and I suggest you throw that money back at them. They need it, but they're willing to take care of our viewers here, and that says something. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You could be the person that gets me to 100,000. you right there. And I would love you for it. Don't forget, once we hit that 100,000, a lucky subscriber gets a fantastic reward. And also, don't forget that YouTube again is taking gun channels off of their platform. Two more were uh, hit this week. So because of that, please follow me on all my other areas where I post. It's in the link of, the links are in the description of every single video I put out. They're on the bottom. Uh, Gunstreamer, YouTube, Patreon. Patreon is where I get direct support for the channel. If you are thinking about possibly helping out, that's a good place to start. Until we see each other again, I thank you again so much for your support. It's what keeps me going, literally and figuratively. Thank you so much. Be safe, stay vigilant, Carry a weapon, and don't put your life on that technology. Take care, everybody.